Welcome back to the RipeWave Audio community. My name is John and for this video we're about to do some measurements for the new uh, F18 subwoofers from Rhythmic. But we have a problem and I can hear it because this is not a quiet room. So what we did was we turned on the REW, Room Equalization Wizard, with a UMIC-1 microphone and we started looking at this and we hear some noise. And we, it's picking up my voice, so I apologize for that. But we do see some peaks. So we see one at 60 hertz, that's sustained, which is to be expected because that's where you're in the United States, that's the electrical equipment is usually around 60 hertz. So that's a typical culprit uh, there. But we also see, and I'll have to be quiet for a second here, uh, some noise at 99 hertz. Why is that happening? Yeah, around 99.4, 99.6. I put some smoothing on this. Right now, there's no smoothing. I like to use variable fusing, uh, <laughs> variable uh, smoothing. And you can see here, there's also some noise around 120 hertz. And there it is. So what I'm going to do is look around the room. What is running? Now, I know I have an air conditioning running. I have a refrigerator over there, add some other computers. Let's see what is causing this. Come on, let's take a look. Now this air conditioner is back here. Now certainly the uh, noise that we were hearing at 120 hertz has gone away. And I'll just pause the trace for a minute. And you can see that the noise we were hearing at 120 hertz has gone away with the air conditioning uh, being shut off. So that is one of the items that we have to resolve, but what about the other two? So let's go do some more investigation. Well, I just went into the boiler room and the boiler was not running, so it seemed very quiet in there. So I don't think that's where it's coming from. Now let's just turn the analyzer on one more time and then pause it. Yes, I still have the peaks at 60 and uh, about 99 hertz. So let's keep investigating these two peaks. Now let's uh, look at the refrigerator next. refrigerator is not even on what we can do is let's be sure of it okay well I don't think it's a refrigerator either because it's not even on the compressor is not even on so uh, I don't think we're gonna see anything different here and no, we still have the peaks at uh, 60 and 99 hertz. So this has got me thinking, what else could it be? Let's go mobile on our REW. Let's take a look at this. We're going to... Um... All right, we're going to go mobile. We're going to unplug the computer. We're going to move this microphone and we're going to try it in different places of the room. Let's see where this is. Let's see what part of the room this is really the strongest in. I can hear it here with my ears really loud. It's, it's a uh, deep hum. It could be around 99 hertz or 60 hertz, but it's, it, is, uh, it is loud. That's measuring about 46, hertz, um, 46 decibels at 99 hertz, almost 100 hertz. Where is this coming from? Let's keep walking. Well, this is just odd. This is loud where I have no equipment. Ooh. 
let's try upstairs because I can't think of anything else that is on in this room. Okay, we're moving upstairs. See if we can. Seems to have dropped a little bit. So we've gone upstairs and we're still seeing this peak at 99 hertz and uh, it's pretty close it's pretty loud it's at 58 decibels i'm curious what has going to happen if we turn this computer off okay the computer's shutting down well look at that this it was this computer. This is an old iMac from 2009. And when it's on, it's creating a 99 hertz hum. So let's go back downstairs and see if we can still hear it. And we're right below where it was uh, the worst spot. And I'll pause it while I'm speaking here. But that 99 hertz and even the 60 hertz has died down quite a bit with um, the uh, with the computer being shut off. So that was the problem. It's amazing. We're directly below here, right where the computer's sitting upstairs, and that's transmitting down into the basement to to really be pronounced. And I can hear it and I can measure it. And it, uh, it just showing how the impact of everything in the house on the system. We're still getting the 60 cycle hum. But I'm curious too, if I put this microphone close to this laptop. So is that particular Mac upstairs? Now I'm going to turn on the refrigerator again because I don't want to have the stuff go bad in there. Yeah, and the refrigerator... Um, hasn't caused a problem. And I just turned the air conditioner back on. Don't see that 99 hertz, so that was definitely 100% the Mac upstairs, but I still have around 60 hertz. I'm gonna take off smoothing for a bit, and then I'm gonna shut off the air conditioner. And I'll play that back later to see if there's anything has calmed down. Now, as far as the 60 cycle hurt, it's still there. If I just shut this equipment off, just curious how much of an impact. There you have it. The 60 hertz signal is probably difficult to remove. I don't know. I'll have to keep playing. I could play. Be curious if I. Uh, just switch the breaker off in the house to see if uh, things got 100% quiet. But, uh, you know, it might be difficult to remove the 60 hertz uh, from there. That's just an artifact we may have to live with. But it's nice that I could remove the one at 99 hertz by setting down that computer. That's a really odd one. It wasn't even in this room. It, in fact, it was the room above us. Uh, so certainly uh, that's that's an issue and uh, we can turn that computer off when we have critical listening or we want to do our measurements so uh, that wraps it up if you're also having trouble you know removing noises from your room from various equipment how are you dealing with them you know are you putting in soundproofing are you just simply shutting things down when you want to go to listen to the system, or are you just living with it? That feedback would be useful for the RightWave Audio community. Until then, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to this RightWave Audio community, and be sure to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified the next time a video is posted. Until then, 
Keep evolving your audio experience.